Hello everyone, this is Nathan Bryan, and this is update number 17 of the Darugadoris. Uh, today I finished up the controls in the wings, as well, as well as got to work on the bone structure in the face. So to begin today, I will show you, you know, the basics of, you know, this is what I did for the other side, exact same thing. I copied over the controls, changed the names, and everything is working the way that it should, as you can see by the controls. They are moving the way that these flaps on the wings should be moving. The joint structure is exactly the same, it's just a copy of the other side. Um, after that, I moved on to the head, uh, laying out the bone structure for the face. Uh, instead of using blend shapes for everything, I will be controlling facial animation with bones. Um, so I started with a head joint and then made some eye joints by uh, point constraint and orient constraining them to the eyes and then deleting those constraints it sets these joints to the exact same direction as the eyes themselves. So I have the eye control and then I duplicated it and uh, scaled the radius up twice so that I have two eyelid controls. I then moved on to the nose and for the nose I did a pretty simple structure by placing a joint in the center and then joint straight out to the side on the other side of the nose. This will allow me to animate the side of the nose inward and close the nose much like the uh, the seals that I used for reference. I continued on with a scale joint for the uh, for the lips here. Uh, with most lizards um, and snakes they have a mouth that can scale outwards to help them swallow larger prey. So I set that up so that it does in fact scale and I set it up in a w such a way that if I use the translate tool you're going to see that it'll scale outward in an even manner uh, allowing it to actually look like the lips are scaling around something as it's beginning to swallow it. Uh, for that, then I moved on to the lips, and what I did for the lips was uh, through turning on my wireframe, I point constrained, or I, I moved them to the points of the. Uh, edge rings around the mouth and made sure that each of them lined up on the upper jaw as well as the lower jaw and then I did a second joint straight down on one of the similar points this will allow me to take multiple joints at a time And through setting the rotation to its parent, I'm able to translate it in the same direction. This will add for a realistic lip movement. I can have the lips covering the teeth. I did this for both the bottom jaw and the top jaw. With the bottom jaw, I parented them to the jaw itself. so the lips will follow the jaw and scale up. Once I've um, constrained everything I can slightly nudge the jaw around to make sure it's in the right place so that the lips are exactly where they should be a little bit like so. I then added an extra joint around the eardrum. So as you can see, I have this little eardrum here. Show joints. 
So I want this eardrum to be able to move in and out a little bit. It's kind of that creepy horror vibe. So I started by creating a joint towards the center of the head and then came out again, again using the uh, parent's rotation. I have it so that it translates directly inwards towards the head. So there you have it. Um, today I worked on finishing up the wing controls, uh, the eyes, the head, the lips, the nose, and the eardrums. Um, right now it's only one side of the head. Once I'm completely finished with laying out all of the facial controls, I will parent them all together and then mirror those joints over to the other side. Uh, so that will happen next week. I hope everyone has a great weekend and happy rigging.